What's up everybody, Eagle Firefly Gaming here, hope you're all well, and today we're going to look at some PvP in the pacifier. See you in a moment. So here we go, welcome back again. Uh, so here is the pacifier. Um, I got the pacifier due to people clicking the link and basically getting the free skill points and then I obtained enough of the recruiters to get the new pacifier and the recruiter skin. So with respect to those people, I am going to go out there and do some solo PvP in this. Actually, I have actually already done some, um, but there's not been much fights going about, but I have come across my first kill and it was about 32 millions worth of kill. So we're just going to go through a couple of things on the pacifier and then we'll skip ahead. Uh, I'll put the chapter in if you want to go straight to the kill and we'll go through the commentary on what we did there. Um, so the pacifier, uh, we'll go straight to show info, or well, we won't because we haven't got the UI open. Okay, so uh, it's a covert ops ship uh, and you basically get all your bonuses for your basic covert, covert ops skilling. Uh, then also you get your frigate bonuses. So if you have got your Galante frigate, Mimitar frigate, Kaldari frigate all up to level 5, then you get your bonuses for the respective uh, damage damage types. In addition to that, obviously you get your cloaking devices CPU requirement to 100%, and you also get some hacking roll bonus increases. You also get a 10% bonus to armor repair, shield booster effectiveness, and that goes with your pilot security status, uh, with a floor of 0% and a ceiling of 50%. Uh, my security status is maximum. Uh, so I get the full benefits of this. So if you have a five standing security status, you're going to get maximum shield boost in effect with this ship, which we have got. Um, so fitting, basically we'll just have a quick look. I'm not going to go into the fitting in too much detail because it's still an active ship. Uh, so here, this is what we're running at the minute. So we've got the hybrid mods up at the top, uh, light neutron blaster twos. Uh, haven't, I've got void loaded at the minute because this is after the fight. Um, but you can also have null uh, and then obviously we've got cloak and probe in the top shield reinforcer to plug the em hole and well it's actually um even resists all the way around but i like to plug my em hole um and then a diff, diff small core defense field extender just to give us a little bit more shield uh, then we've got an ab fit with a medium ancillary booster because chances are when we get close range someone's going to scram us so that's going to give them a bad day uh, and then we've got a scram web, uh, three damage mods, not shiny, and a damage control. So it's a really versatile ship. Uh, I quite like it. I've had uh, some good fun with it. Um, you are very selective on the targets that you uh, are going to have to attack. Um, but I took down uh, this ship in the next section. Uh, so it wasn't an abandoned ship this time. It was a fully piloted ship. Um, but the ship went down that fast. I think the the pilot just froze and didn't know what to do because he wasn't expecting it. Um, I wasn't going to take the fight, uh, but I did um, because basically I wanted to test out what the damage type would be on this kind of ship because uh, they are they have not got a great tank, but they've got a slight tank. Uh, but it's given me a good insight into into what I can play about with size wise. So. Yep, so if you skip ahead, uh, we'll go into the next section now uh, and we'll just go through the fight. See you in a minute. Okay, so we jumped into the wormhole. Uh, we immediately saw that we had a retriever on scan. Uh, earlier, I did actually de scan him down uh, very quickly, but I didn't hit the record button, which is a bit silly of me. Um, so there we have the retriever. Um, so we're just having a look because I wasn't actually sure if it was bait or not. Um, but as you can see, uh, the retriever is fully aligned you can see the little arrow there um, and he's actually burning out so he does have an align point so actually no at this point sorry he's orbiting the kernite uh, but when I come back he is aligned so I start approaching him and I think uh, well probably gonna take too long so I save location on the kernite uh, just weighing up whether this is gonna be bait or not um, so basically I warp out uh, to get a decent sort of perch on him now uh, you can see where he's aligning out now um, I don't know why he did that uh, but but the pilot did 
for whatever reason doesn't know that I'm here so I'm fully cloaked so I align back uh, and then walk back now something pretty magical happens here uh, so I decide to warp at 10 off the rock now I forgot that the rock is actually quite large so the rock is actually probably 10 kilometers big so probably I'm going to land right in the middle of it unexpectedly but I do have a perfect alignment because I've warped to a planet which should drop me right on top of him and it does a little bit out but you can see he's aligning out there um, so then it, the the rock bounced me back the asteroid bounced me back straight into the path of the retriever so mint so I basically oh, decloaked got an insta lock on him uh, point and web and not going anywhere um, so obviously I get a bit jittery at this point because I'm thinking well, well I'm not quite sure what's going to go on here but you can see he's trying to align out um, but he ain't going anywhere I'm real, and then we start applying the damage now I'm actually really surprised that he didn't get drones out here um, but it didn't so I start overheating spamming D scan um, because I'm thinking it's bait so you know a retriever is not a bad kill in a pacifier it's much more than your tech one frigates uh, your asteros are probably going to be more than that but um, it made mincemeat at this retriever which I was actually quite surprised of I, th I thought it would take a little bit of a while to get this down to be fair um, so there we are he's in 50% structure so it's probably took what 15-20 seconds to kill uh, no drones out uh, just froze completely uh, and then he's dead and then the pod comes out uh, screwed up a little bit here I couldn't get couldn't get a scram on, it, scram on him for some reason I clicked it three times but I did get it in the end um, and there was the pod uh, empty pod uh, but about 32 million worth of kill on the retriever uh, scooped a little bit of loot probably about 3-4 three, three, million maybe uh, oh 5.4 million uh, so there we go uh, so it's not, not a bad day at the office really um, so it was a pretty good kill I was quite impressed with it um, probably a bit of luck um, you know a bit of new pilotness probably I uh, did send an email like I always do uh, the character was less than one year old a uh, really nice person uh, was pretty sweet about the kill uh, and yeah it was alright we had a little bit of a chat about it and everything's all good uh, might drop him some isk haven't done yet still thinking about it we'll see um, so yeah so thank you for watching uh, I know it wasn't um, much damage coming into me uh, but to be fair if any drones were launched there they would have been black pretty quick so I think we would have been alright at that point would have been nice to test the tank but it didn't happen thought it was going to but it didn't uh, so I'm just cleaning up the wrecks here now at this point um, so yeah uh, actually uh, afterwards uh, we got a couple, into a bit of scuff, couple of bit of scuffles uh, the pacifier is still alive um, so we have got more content coming up so thank you for watching hit that like and share with your friends and all that good stuff uh, don't forget to check all the links down in the description below come join us on discord uh, if you want to get notified of any more videos from me hit subscribe the bell and all that usual good stuff all right see you soon